Hello and welcome to Programming Knowledge. So in today's video, I will be showing you how to install Parrot OS on your VirtualBox. So let's get started. So right now we are on uh, parrotlinux.org, the Parrot OS website. So here you can see it is saying discover the Parrot universe and get, get the most from our awesome Debian based platform. So you can see it is Xeno Linux restriction system, security, privacy, and development. You will get full development stack if you want to create different exploits, etc. All those things. It is secure, free. It is GPL, that is general public license. So you can work on it, freely modify it. It is very lightweight. So here they have given some screenshots. You can go through that. So we'll go on top and uh, we'll select download so in here we have three options first one is security that is all-in-one environment for pen testing privacy digital forensics reverse engineering and software development second one is home workstation this is very lightweight system for daily use and privacy protection this, this is designed for the casual users the other builds are uh, particularly for different uh, devices like IoT etc. They, in, in, uh, they include ARM images and other custom editions also. And they are also pro giving links to the Azure image writer. This is to write image file or ISO image file to the pen drive to make it bootable. Then the parent archive we have. So we'll click on security download. So in here we have three options. First one is live plus installer ISO. Second one is also same. The difference between both of them is the interface is different. First one is made interface. The second one is KDE plasma interface. Size is also different. So you can download it or find the mirrors or torrent it and you can just uh, ch check the hashes afterwards. Third one is particularly we are interested in virtual appliance security edition. So interface is mate. So there, there are different uh, interfaces. We have mate, we have KDE, we have XFC, all those things. We have also genome. So this particular is you know mate interface and this is particularly for virtual machines. And format is OVA open virtualization format and size is 5.7 GB. So you can click on download or you can go through torrent if you want if you want to do it using torrent client I will click on download so actually I already downloaded it so I will just cancel it okay so we'll open our virtual box so we'll search our virtual box okay so in here you can see on the top menu bar we have a file so click on the file and then click on import appliance and here we have to find a directory where our OVA file is present so click on this icon and we'll go in our directory and here we have our uh, OVA file parrot security 4.7 and we'll open it and now we'll click on continue name is parrot security so it will give you different settings of this appliance so cpu is uh, cpu cores are 4 instead of this we'll just tweak it little bit so if you have a powerful cpu you can just select cpu as 4 ram as 4 gb by default dvd usb controller all are selected then yeah rest of the things are okay so we'll just go back and uh, for this tutorial i will just go to export mode and uh, we'll select the appliance and parrot security os open and in here we'll change the cpu from 4 to 1 and ram i will choose is enough for this tutorial and rest of the things are same and now we'll click on import 
so it will give you a dialog box where to say click agree to continue so this is a what you say software license agreement if you want you can read it i will click on agree and uh, it will now start importing so it says two minutes 19 seconds remaining so depending on the systems specification this counter will increase or decrease so it, right now it is on second step so there are actually three steps so it is importing the virtual disk image to the vmdk file we'll wait till it gets completed so now it is imported as you can see so here you can see base memory is 2 gb that is 2096 mb and we have video memory is 128 mb it is okay and okay that's all things looks great now we'll click on start so it is giving me an error that implementation of the usb 2.0 not found So we'll disable the 2.0 for now. So we'll click on settings and so it is saying invalid settings detected. So that is for the ports. And in here, if you go to port 2 in the USB, it is saying USB 2.0 for now. We'll select USB 1.1. So if you can see invalid detect invalid settings are detected for the 2.0 and 3.0. So we'll select 1.1 and click OK. And now we'll start the uh, parrot security virtual machine. So it is asking me for which one we want to use parrot GR on Linux. So by default, I have selected the same. If you have NVIDIA or same, some other graphics card, you can select a different uh, settings according to that. So it is now loading the parrot OS. Okay, so it is asking for parrot updater to update the system settings and to import the latest features. Just, okay, so we have to select our uh, keyboard layout. So I will choose yes, I want to check for updates. So the default password is the viewers order root that is t-o-o-r and okay we click which will check for updates so we'll put it aside i will select english yes that is enough for us we can test our keyboard yeah and click okay so keyboard layout is set and it is checking for uh, updates now so in here we on the desktop we have password.txt file so if you open it it will show you the default username is user and default password is tour and the root password is also tour to change the password use the command passwd password command so i think this will take time for updating so we'll go in applications and uh, okay actually we'll go from down so we'll click on menu and then control center and in here we'll go to uh, displays yeah so in here you can choose the resolution so i will choose according to my screen resolution that is uh, 1440 into 900 so apply so it will say keep this configuration I want to make it full screen so let's make it full screen and then select keep this configuration okay apply okay, this configuration and, and we will close it 
So as you can see, the resolution is now full screen and it is perfectly fitting my full screen window. So we'll, I will show you what are the different tools available in the Parrot OS. So if you go in applications and then we'll go in accessories, you can see the different tools we have. We have VS Codium. Vim. So VS Codium is actually the open source uh, open source port of uh, Visual Studio Code. So it actually provides you more features than VS Code and it's really open source. You can take a look at it if you want to do development on uh, Parrot OS. So let's go in uh, second one that is Anon Surf. So this provides you anonymous uh, surfing. Uh, then we have cryptography, education, games, graphics. In graphics, we have GNU image manipulation program that is GIMP. Then in internet, we have Firefox. Then we have Tor browser and all the different utilities. We have BigTorrent. In office, we have normal LibreOffice and pen testing. We can see the, all the plethora of tools. We have most used tools. We have Aircrack NG, Burp Suit. Then Kayak, this is a new one. This is a car hacking tool. We have Multigo, which are famous one, Johnny all those Wireshark etc. The information gathering you can see all the tools here, different categories, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, exploitation tools, maintaining access that is post exploitation, then password attacks. So in password attacks we have local attacks, offline attacks, online attacks, and password profiling and word list. So if you are into password tracking you can use these tools, then wireless testing. In wireless testing, we have all the Wi-Fi hacking tools and sniffing and spoofing, like network sniffing. Then we have forensic tools. Then the next category is automat automotive or automotive, that is car reduce. Again, kayak is there. Then reverse engineering, we have debuggers, decompilers, and disassemblers. Then we are reporting to and system services. So in here you can see HTTP, Metasploit, OpenVAS, PostgreSQL, SSH, and Explico. Then next category is programming. We have Genie Editor. Then we have SQL Data Browser, all those programming tools. Then in Sandbox, you can see all these utilities or programs such as Firefox, Jim, LibreOffice, all are in sandboxed format. So and normal sound and video we have VLC media player sound etc and uh, system tools all these tools we have make terminal etc so we close the VS Codium so you can see the activity monitor here so it provides the processor uh, real-time usage memory usage and the network usage okay and in the title bar we have different utilities for network and sound etc so the menu in the bottom is provide same menu as the applications menu on top. So you can go through that if you are interested. And then we have places here we have uh, our file browser. So you can see desktop file system. Okay, and then system we have preferences for hardware. Then uh, administration and control center. And here we have shortcuts for terminal, Firefox browser. So the terminal you can see it looks really nice. I will type ls command and you can list all the different directories in the current directory. Okay, so let's see this is the overview of how to install Parrot OS on a virtual box. So I hope you liked it and if you like it please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.